Information. Information. That's what I thought you were here for. Been pretty tight-lipped about the Croat. Right around the time that the world turned into shit soup, the Croat showed up at my door, so to speak. He had been through, well, let's just say he had been through some really bad shit. Worst shit imaginable. So I took him in. Kept him from brain painting the walls. Soon he was calling me his brother, Baraz. Said that I made him feel safe. Oh, I guess at that point, everybody was looking for a little sanctuary from the hellfire we'd all been damned to. I mean, we'd lost everything. The thing is, I, uh, I really thought I was helping him. It takes a monster to make one, I guess. No. No. You see, I was only a monster when I absolutely had to be. When I had to put on a show to protect my people. Anyway, the, the Croat, he had a way of uh, reading people and then toying with them and pulling them apart. When a threat needed to be handled, it was a skill set that I found very useful. He was your torture. He took it too far. It was uh, one of our first skirmishes with the kingdom before your time. A person had been holed up in a car a couple miles from the sanctuary. It seemed to me she was a drifter. Nothing to do with us or anything we were up to. So I gave a direct order, let her walk. The Croat, he, uh, he saw it differently. Thought that the, uh, thought that she had beans to spill. And he was right. She was a, a scout. At least that's what she copped to before uh, before he... <laughs> she was just a kid. So, after that, I knew that he was a rabid dog that needed to be put down. I had one shot. One. I missed blew off his ear, the rest of them got away. I haven't seen or heard from him since. Until now, of course. So he's gonna wanna kill you? He sure is. You didn't think to tell me this before. I do know how he operates, Maggie. Of course you do.